Mike Waters here from the Waters Wake Up Call. We were all embracing our geekness earlier this morning. I think I'm a geek about puzzles. I'm not really good at crosswords, but I'm really, really good at jumbo. Oh, at jumbo. My mom was, and scrambling the letters. Uh I usually get the words within seconds, but then the last clue, I don't like, I like the register, because they have longer ones. Now they're not putting in the clue ahead of time. Yeah, are you, are you, uh, are you, are you, are you usually, it's no fun to do the book. They used to put it in the paper. They've yeah. got, well, that's, and that's, you can't even really find it online either. Well, well, maybe that's a whole nother puzzle. Maybe the puzzle is to go and find that and actually find where it is. Hello, yeah, is this thing on? They're really fun. Yeah. yeah. I was good at spelling and we did. To be continued. <laughs> Sir, how are you this fine? Hey, I'm doing good. Hey, have we decided on a nickname for you yet? Woodsy Owl, Wood Tick, something appropriate for you who live in the woods? I sent you an email. Um, I'm a Dr. Demento geek. I love Dr. Demento. One of the good ones was Boot to the Head. I thought you were going to ask for a Pencil Neck Geek. <laughs> if you can throw anything, something by Weird Al even. You'll definitely get some Weird Al, and uh, we got to work on that name of yours. We'll figure out a name. You know what? I'm going to come up with a, a really good name by the next time you call. Well, thank you for that. Uh, you're welcome, Woodchuck. <laughs> I didn't say now I'd come up with a good one. I said by the next time you'd call. My dog is still laughing. How much wood would a woodchuck check for woodchuck could chuck wood? No. Woodchuck could chuck wood if chuck chuck wood could have wood much how? Ah! Okay, that'll do. <laughs> good morning, Mr. Waters. Well, good morning, Miss Hawaiian. How are you? <laughs> I am doing well and flying my geek. Flag. Well, all right. So, what what is on your <laughs> geek flag? What are you what are you geeking out on? I am Star Trek, Star Wars, and books. <laughs> so, are they Star Trek and Star Wars books or any books? Any books. Well, that's a lot of reading. That must be time consuming. I have I, I have genres. I mean, I like you know fiction. I like paranormal things like that. Very nice paranormal. That's like two normals, right? I'm not even I one know, normal. Yeah. I'm not even <laughs> I'm not even single normal. Well, then that would make you. Uh, never mind. I'll, I'll leave that alone. Yeah, thank you, you Trek geek. It's like for college, my uh, final paper and two of my classes, I actually did it on Star Trek. I had to pick um, two of the shows and write a, a dissertation on it. So it was, it was, and I got an A. So you, just for you, that tells you how much of a geek I am. Okay. Well, yeah. You Star Trek geek bookworm. Do you, do you, let me ask you this. Do you get bugged when somebody comes up to you and calls it Star Truck? Well, no, because I actually, I like to, to mess with people that way, too. Oh. I like my memes that are, you know, a combination of Star Trek, Star Wars. It's like, what do you get when you put, was it Stormtroopers and the Star Trek together? What? Some, somebody what? that can't hit a thing, but somebody always dies. <laughs> Like the red shirt always dies. Yeah, you know? right, like, right. When you're going down to the planet, there's always one guy who does not return, and it's always the guy with the red shirt. You always know who it is. That's it. You know any other Star Trek, Star Wars jokes? Uh, none that I can put on the air. Sorry, honey. Oh, come on, a dirty <laughs> Star Wars joke. That would be that would be good. I'm kind of gonna pass on that one though. I'll send you one, but I'm not gonna say it over the air. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm terrible at memorizing things. You know, I got hit by a truck when I was a kid, so it's oh. like... It's hard to remember things. Jeez. It's, well, then you must really, you know, have a little PTSD if somebody calls it Star Trek. <laughs> no. No? I'm an idiot that way. Well, I don't have any Star Wars or Star Trek jokes, but I do have an E.T. Uh, joke. That's kind of okay, like, you know, the, the aliens and stuff. What did E.T.'s mother say to him when he got home? What? Where on earth have you been? Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. That was so bad, it was good. <laughs> well, holidays, 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 holidays. Just what day it is. It's, yeah. uh, let's see, it's it's Hump Day. It's, yeah. it's National Franks and Beans Day. Actually, it's National Beans and Franks Day, but that doesn't sound oh, right, yeah. does it? 
Oh, I'm going to have some drinks and beans. Yeah. yeah. So what do you like to geek out on? It's National Embrace Your Geek Day. Geekness. And you have to be a geek. I was. I is. I am. <laughs> so you <laughs> was and always will be a geek. That's right. I've always been a computer geek. You know, nerd, as they always called me in school. <laughs> nerd. Nerd. <laughs> nerd. I bet you were still called Hall and Oates back then. Uh, I'll never tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am, I'm a big trucker geek. Oh, yeah. Well, you know? we knew that. I think we knew that, Hall yeah. and Oates, since you're Hall and right. Quaker. I, I guess I, I should say that uh, I'm not Hall and Oates anymore. What? What are you What are you hauling? Mail. Hauling mail. Well, that doesn't I sound to, as good. I, I know. We can, say, we, we can still say hauling oats. But yeah, yeah I, went to UPS, I went to UPS. Well, if you can't haul oats at UPS, what are you doing there? More money and better benefits. And yeah, and that's it. I'm in New York right now. Wow. You're in New York. You don't know. You never go yeah. that far. You like usually go to what? Wisconsin. Wisconsin or Ohio. Yeah. yeah but, um, wow. You can still call me hauling oats. Just keep one of those little uh, canisters of uh, Quaker Oats there next to you in the passenger seat. Next to the UPS logo. Yeah, there, there, <laughs> there you go. Uh, maybe, you know, I'll I'll mail out some, some oats in an envelope every day and assume it's going to be delivered by you in your UPS truck and you'll be hauling oats with the mail. Never know. Never know. Well, congrats, <laughs> man. Sounds like a, a big step up for you. Oh, yeah, but I'm, you know, I'm still listening to uh, uh, the Waters Wake Up Call. I'm here in New York, man. Well, it's good to be heard out east. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you're out in the east, east coast there. Yes. Yes, sir, Mr. Computer yes. Geek, yes, Mr. Holland Computer Geek. <laughs> and now the Waters Wake Up Call presents part two of Geekness Puzzle Jumble Spelling Wheel of Fortune Madness. I was good at spelling. Yeah. My brother says I don't always know the meaning. Certainly. Yeah. You know, but I've that always... must be my geek thing and sure. sewing too, but yeah. Yeah. I'll do that Sunday morning. Uh, yep. You know, I was, uh, I was, was always, I have I, to go somewhere. I was always better at spilling than spelling, and I think that was because I spelled spell wrong, and it turned into spill. So I started instead of spelling, I was spilling all kinds of things in the couch and on the floor and my pants. I tried to find the ending first, yeah, yeah. and then I like watch a meal of fortune, but they're not get them before the people on TV sometimes. Well, you should go over there. I'll tell Pat you're coming because you know me and Pat oh, real yeah. tight. We went to. Uh, kindergarten <laughs> My together. My brother thinks, really, they think, he thinks some of the clues are kind of dopey. No. My brother does. Hey, I know dopey, and those are not dopey. I, I, I could have won a car yesterday, yeah. but the person who solve it. Oh, and they, sons you know, of a Yeah, I know. And scene. Weekday mornings, 5.30 to 10. 105.7 KOKZ.